Okay, this is a really, really simple bluegill fly. It's a fly, it's kind of a variation of a fly that was given to me in a fly swap a long, long time ago. Um, but it has caught a ton of fish for me. So uh, the only things that I'm doing, I'm putting on a jig hook since we have them with a kind of a smaller tungsten bead. Um, and I've, I usually fish this either under an indicator or just kind of, you could do it like on a midge tip, just a vertical presentation. But anyway, I've got the new uh, Fulling Mill Stealth Jig hook. It's a 2X long hook, 90 degree bend. This is awesome for balanced flies or, or things like this. Um, really digging this hook. This is a size eight. I typically fish tens for bluegill, but because it's a little bit longer shank. You, they'll, they'll be able to get that in their mouth. You can pop it out a little bit easier. I also highly recommend debarbing your hook for bluegill. It just makes it easier to get out of their mouth. And nobody really cares when you lose one. So anyway, debarb them, even though I still have the barb on. Um, I've got 140 denier thread and just fluorescent chartreuse. And I'm just going to build it up right here behind the bead uh, to somewhat secure it into place while I tie the fly um, and take it all the way to the back. The tail on this is actually going to be um, rabbit. I've done some with marabou and bluegill. Just They like to nip at your fly and I've had several marabou flies that just kind of fall apart. So the rabbit, they can't tear off your fly. It'll last a little bit longer. And when you get into a mess of bluegill, you're catching, you know, I don't know how many hundreds of fish a day, but um, way more than you would with, say, a trout fly. So I'm going to take a rabbit strip like this. I'm just going to bunch up the hair and cut off a clump of it. And from here, I'm going to pull out these guard hairs, or most of them to expose the softer under fur. And that's what I'm gonna use as my tail. So I've got that right there. And just wrap that forward. It, it doesn't really bulk up too much. From here, about up here by the bead, there's going to be a little thorax on this, so I don't have to put it right behind the bead, but I'm going to take some more um, chartreuse colored material. This is ultra chenille. Um, and I'm just going to wrap it the length of the body and then uh, wrap this forward up the fly. Just like that. And you can vary the, the, the size of your bead. I just have a 3.3 millimeter bead. And this is the hairline bead. And I, I use that instead of the hannock bead on this one because it has a little bit bigger slot. And it will allow the bead to slide all the way over that 90 degree hook point or hook eye. Okay, the, the thorax is just going to be hairline dubbin the original gangster fluorescent lime green and I'm going to wrap down kind of a base layer and this is there's a trick to tying in rubber legs in a in a thorax and I'll just show that to you it's, it's pretty simple so I'm I'm gonna wrap the dubbing around the thorax and then leave my thread to sit right in the middle of that thorax. From here I'm going to take some small round rubber legs, just fold, it, fold that piece in half and tie that in just like that and I can take one side of the leg and pull it toward me one side and pull it away from me just like that and now i can push all those forward and as you can see i'm being kind of wasteful with the materials but you can measure this out and i'll just trim it off 
And you want to leave those rubber legs fairly long because the bluegill like that real buggy leg. So from here, I'm just going to build up a little bit more of a dubbing noodle and wrap that through those legs. So a little bit right in the middle of the legs and then I'll pull them back. Put a little bit more in the front and then find your whip finisher. Curtis will play some reggae music while I look for it. Final step is just throw a little bit of head cement on there. Right in that bead in the hole. And we are good. There we have our bluegill jig. And as you can imagine, you can tie this in infinity different colors. Uh, try one with, with all black and a chartreuse bead and chartreuse legs. Um, but anyway, this, this is an absolute bluegill killer. Tie them up and rip some lips.